when you train racehorses and you tell people you train racehorses, the first thing they ask you is, well, have you ever won the Kentucky Derby? With Dancing Moon, when we're out there on the pony, I'm standing next to him on the racetrack, he'll let me pet him all day. And that's my one moment where I get to be his friend. You know, we get to share that. But other than that, I don't mess with him. He's, uh, I don't feel like getting bit. Want to put one there? Yeah, you can put it in there. I'm not going in there, are you crazy? <laughs> the walkover kind of is a, is a symbol. I was almost like a rite of passage, I guess. The biggest thing you're, you're wanting at that point in time is your horse to accept this crowd. I mean, this, they're seeing something that they'll never, never seen before and they'll never see it again. My only superstition is that I have what I would call unlucky ties. If I'm wearing a tie that hasn't won a race, uh, I, I'll just throw it away. So I certainly will not be wearing one of those ties in the derby. I'll use one that I know is lucky. I'll have my shirt and tie on when the horses are going around the first turn. I will literally be able to feel my heartbeat down my neck because I'm so excited. They come to the quarter pole. If our horse is moving, my heartbeat will be, if you had a heart monitor on it, I, it'd be, it will be uh, very high. There's only a handful of races I can bring that type of excitement on, and obviously the Kentucky Derby is one of them. If Danzig Moon wins the Kentucky Derby, it'll be a lifelong dream come true. If Danzig Moon wins the Kentucky Derby, all of our lives will change, really. It'll be special, but it'll be really special because, you know, having Norman and my wife and Colby and my family here so we can all enjoy it together.